Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show that these guys are inverses of each other. So in order to do that, the expectation is if I know I multiply a times b, if, there, if b is an inverse of a, it'll equal the identity matrix. And then so the other way is b times a is equal to the identity matrix. So this one's going to tell me that a inverse is equal to b, and this one's going to tell me that b inverse is equal to a. So these guys would be ident excuse me. So b would be the inverse of a, and a would be the inverse of b. Okay. So how do we do that? So the idea is if we multiply these guys together, we're going to go ahead and get this identity matrix. So let's see what happens. Let's do a times b first. Okay. So one thing I'm going to tell you: if you don't know how to multiply matrices, this next section not going to be fun. So make sure you got that fundamental skill down, and then we're going to be good to go. Okay, so I have a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 2, and these are always square, so we know that because we're working with square matrices that um, we have uh, resulting dimensions of the same thing. So they're all 2 by 2s. So um, what we've done in the past is we've kind of just created this kind of blank canvas of what our answer is going to be formatted like. And so we're going to have a number here, 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 and here. Okay? And I kind of went through and I said, okay, I'm going to find this one first, this one, this one, and then this one. So I kind of worked top down, left to right. That's just the way I did it. Okay, so uh, to get my first column, I'm going to take this row and this column that gives me uh, row one, column one. If you need help with the multiplication, you can go ahead and uh, go back to those videos. But what happens here is I'm going to go ahead and get 5 times 10, which is 50, plus a negative 49, and that's going to give me 1. Now I'm going to do row 2, column 1, so that gives me this spot right here. So row 2, column 1 gives me row 2, column 1. 7 times 10 is 70. 10 times negative 7, add them together, I get 0 follow that same rationale. I want this guy right here, so that's row 1, column 2, so I use row 1, column 2. So 5 and 7 and negative 7 and 5. Well, these guys are opposites of each other, so when I add them together, I get 0. Next one, I want to get row 2, column 2, so I go to row 2, column 2. This one doesn't look nice. That's actually 10 right here. So that means I'm going to take 7 times negative 7, negative 49 plus 50. That gives me my 1. Boom, I know that A inverse is equal to B. So B is the inverse of A. Okay, so what about the other way around? If they're inverses of each other, it'll work this way also. Okay, so that means I'm just going to flip-flop. And I get 10, negative 7, negative 7, 5. And then I'm going to multiply this by 5, 7, 7, and 10. So I just flip-flop the order. This is B and this is A. And I'm going to go through the same thing. You know, I got my uh, uh, empty shell of what it should look like. I got the four spots. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to draw this down here so I get a little bit bigger of a matrix. And so I want to find, and I'm just going to work top down, row 1, column 1. I'm going to use row 1, column 1. So 10 and 5 is 50. I got the same thing going on. I got a 1 here. Row 2, column 2. So row 2, excuse me, row 2, column 1. So row 2, column 1. 7 and 5 is 35, so negative, right? And then 5 and 7, positive. Opposites, boom, I got the 0. The way that this is going to work out now, we're also going to get the identity matrix. So this guy right here is row uh, 1, column 2. So I use row 1, column 2. Multiply and add, boom, 0. And we'll see that when I take this very last column and row, which is row 2, column 2, negative 7 and 7 is negative 49, 5 and 10 is 50. When I multiply them, add those results together, I get a 1. And so what that means is now I've got these guys situated in that B inverse is equal to A. So they are inverses of each other. Okay, And so you're going to have problems which show that they're inverses of each other. Just multiply in both orders, and if you end up with the identity matrix, boom, they're both inverses of each other.